don't know if John trusts you with that thing. John usually does the uh, clacking in this room, but I thought we'd take it. You want to try it? Sure. Yeah. I don't know. And action! This week's show... Yeah. Is about inspiration. Yeah, in a really big way. And this is what this show is all about for us. It is uh, giving people some attention uh, in ways that you may never even realized how hard they worked or these success stories, where they came from. You drive past these places and you don't know anything about them. Right. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. We uh, <laughs> met a lot of inspirational people. Well, we'll start with the old favorites. Uh, Mark Canzanetta went out in his own, started his own restaurant. And booming success. Exactly. And I, I, it's the food is great, the service is great, and it all stems from Mark's vision. And that is why we're able to enjoy brunch this week. Sunday brunch. We'll preview that for you. So good. Uh, we also get to spend some time with a, a new face on the show, and we're pretty excited about this one. Kelly, Kelly Warren, mm -hmm. and Kelly Warren Associates. Um, they they sell some houses. Yeah, and you've seen their pictures around town. That's for sure. They do. And Kelly Warren is joining our show. She has a great relationship with Barb from um, Barb Shark Corporate, Tank, right? And they're very good friends. So we're going to get into all that this week. Her success story is is a, is so far a home run. A yeah, home run. You like that one? And a home sale guarantee too that we'll <laughs> tell you about too. Uh, Melissa Poland is known as Sweet Melissa, and we're going to visit with her and find out why she made the jump from working in a kitchen to owning her own restaurant and how successful that has been. Yes, it has been, and, uh, and how about she this will guy continue from, to be. I was going to say, and then the a guy man from McDonald's. who started as a maintenance man. Decades ago. Actually cleaned the toilets at the Erie McDonald's, now owns nine of them, including the magnificent one in Warren on the corner of uh, East Market and North. And uh, it was just redone, so we're going to take a look at that and find out all the new technological advances, including the drive-through. Right. You know, it's confusing. It, to it's some. confusing. It can handle the clacker, can't handle the dual drive-through, but we'll get through it. Right. Somehow, some way. I also get to go out and meet um, an inspirational lady who has got a lot of creativity and a whole lot of energy. Uh, Megan from Molnar Farms. She works as an occupational therapist. Full time. That's a real job. That's a real job. And then she is the person who creates these giant hay bale characters. We're talking tons of hay, mm -hmm. gallons of paint, mm -hmm. hours and hours just to build something that's going to make a memory for somebody else. Two jobs that really make a difference. Yeah, no kidding. All right, so we'll see all of you when you join us at 4 o'clock on Sunday. 4 p.m. or valleyspotlight.com whenever you want.